Hey Tubies! Today I thought I'd bring you something a little bit different. This is a bleach bath tutorial. It shows two units in my intro, but one of them was a fail and the other was a success. So I'm going to do the success one first. The Brazilian Curly. This unit was purchased from RPG Show on AliExpress about a year and a half ago. This is what it looks like now because I have worn it a lot. Uh, I haven't dyed it. I just uh, I just wear it a lot. Like when I say a lot, I mean like on a daily. So this is what it looks like now. You cannot even comb through Broomhilda right here. It's pretty jacked up. But hey, when I put it on, I work it, and nobody knows the difference. But yeah, at this point, I think it's time for a bath, a bleach bath. We gonna say. So this is what it looks like prior to a bleach bath. And as you know, Spiritual Gold was the first one that I saw, but she got it from somebody else. And she has a couple of things that she does that are, are pretty cool. But on her video, she had a couple of outtakes or things that she didn't put. So if you didn't read the caption, like because hey, people hate to read, then you made a couple of errors. So I call myself trying to fix it and do it as best I can. This is the underside of the Curly Brazilian. This was only like a 120 density pretty thin wig looks very natural so this is the results I got after I did my method of a bleach bath so you saw what I was working with before right yeah there's a picture yeah I know it's not very pretty but hey I can run a comb through it what what to the ends now the thing with bleach bath yeah your hair will turn a bit of a color a little bit lighter so it won't be as jet black if it's black it'll be a little bit brown and because you know you only do the ends it'll be your ends that'll be highlighted mostly so if you want to see how I got this stay tuned the products I use uh, you're gonna need a gallon bleach silicone mix shampoo and conditioner uh, three cups measuring cup ammonia and one fourth cup measuring cups for both so here I'm just taking my lace wig unit and wrapping it really tight because you cannot afford to get any ammonia bleach none of that on this cap if you do it's over you're gonna need a gallon um, plastic bag and don't worry, if you don't have one, you can get a Walmart bag and it's going to work just as fine. Just maybe use two or three instead. But here I'm just going to secure the unit and make sure that none of the lace is out. And I'm going to get one of those goodie bands and wrap it around it to make sure no water, bleach, ammonia, none of that gets on the lace. Because, yeah, I'm not trying to have anything happen to my lace. I'm going to show you here once again oh I have gloves on too because my nails ain't done but I don't want to get all that bleach and stuff on my hands so it's good to wear gloves y'all see how I have the bag all the way to the lace and I'm gonna bring it down to make sure that none of that water gets in and I am gonna be using my double pick comb to try to comb through if you don't have a double pick comb you can use any wide tooth comb and it'll be just the same see yeah I can't get through this nap nap so that's nice what's up I'm going to uh, definitely show how you go so there goes your one gallon of hot water that's what you're gonna need some hot water and then one fourth cup of bleach I mixed it up and for three minutes you are going to proceed to comb through broom Sheka here to make her nice and pretty well somewhat so yeah gently comb through and me I'm bold I just went straight for the naps you know you can work your way up but it is a three minute process so make sure you keep your eye on the time because if not you are gonna have some burnt up hair believe me I've done it so just gently combing through here for three minutes and you will see like uh, whatever products you have in the hair and things like that come off into the water which is good because you're trying to strip it that way it can get back to normal so now you see how it comes through looking good I'm already sort of happy here yeah now on the other side 
I have, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure all the naps was gone. So I got my dimming brush in for that last minute and took it through. But you do not have to do that. I just like to go buck wild when I do things. But yeah, so yeah, I'm straight up perming my hair in the sink right now. But anyway, on the other side I have shampoo with silicone mix and water in that white mixing bowl in the corner you see. So I'm going to take the hair and dip it in there. And move it around there and let it sit while I clean out the sink and get ready for the ammonia. Because Lord knows we don't want the house to be smoking. Because ammonia and bleach don't mix. And that's our next step, the ammonia. Now with the ammonia, uh, it's literally just uh, one-fourth cup of ammonia and three cups of warm water. But um, right now I'm just still uh, making sure I get all of the, the Clorox and warm water out of the uh, unit. So I just comb through and dip in and out. And I'm not going to rinse it out because on the video that I watched uh, from Spiritual, I noticed she said rinse, but she never rinsed unless she edited it. But I've done this method a couple of times and never had any problems. I want to say at least I, I do it at least mm, once every six months, depending on the unit. And I've done it for other people, too. So, yeah. So see the three cups of warm water. I already got it marked. I'm going to put the warm water in there. And then grab the ammonia. Well, yeah, and there goes my one fourth cup of ammonia. Pour that in. And now, with this, you're only going to dip that hair into this like twice. You do it more than once, it's going to fry it. I don't know why that is, but man, yeah, it's, it's bad. So just make sure. You only dip the hair twice in the ammonia and warm water mix. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'm going to get the shampoo and water ready for me to rinse out the ammonia after I dip the hair twice. And that's, again, that's silicone mix shampoo. So here goes twice. That's one and two. That's it. No matter how much you want to do that third, don't do it. Wringing the hair out and putting it back into a shampoo and water mix. Combing through with my trusty dusty double pick comb. Now the recommendation for this was also three minutes, but like I said, I've done this a couple of times. If you feel like it's rinsed out well enough, then that's all that matters. If you're like an overachiever, you can go for a full four to five if you like. But it's just really a matter of your opinion and how the hair feels and how smooth or how much slip is on the hair when you're brushing through it. And I think um, I was pretty satisfied at this point with uh, the feel of the hair. But just got to make sure all the chemicals out as far as I can tell. I'm going to take that and pour it out. And then I am going to start where most videos leave off. I noticed with the other videos I watch, she never really showed the, the conditioning process, you know. She showed the rinsing of the hair, just like I'm doing here, but like she would just say she'd put something in the microwave, but eh, I can't, I can't do it. I can't microwave my hair, man. I've I seen plenty of people do it, but I don't know. I just ain't got the guts. So um, here I'm just going through again, trying to see if there, there's any tangles and it's a little bit, you know, dry. The hair is dry after a bleach bath, hence why you really, really have to do the silicone mix or some form of conditioner afterwards to restore some form of balance to the hair. But see, no more nap naps. So now on to the conditioning. Yeah, and this stuff is like creamy crack. It's hard to get a hold of. So make sure when you find a store that has it, buy it. Go ahead and uh, 
lather it up I mean as much as you can possibly afford to put on it give it to it because you didn't strip it down bucket naked and it ain't got no more moisture in the hair this is going to give the appearance of shine and silk and make the hair look like it did when you first got it out the pack or out the box as I in my case but yep just in case you need some more and then make sure you focus on the top where it's closest to the lace you know because nothing really happened there and you know that's going to be a, a, a bit of a, a pickle when you pull it out if you know what I mean when you start combing through it again the roots are going to be a little rough so I'm going to put it in this bag here and because I don't want to nuke my hair I was trying to figure out at this point um, why I didn't have my stuff out but what you didn't see and what I forgot to show was somewhere in the background there is coffee pot brewing with hot water and I needed something to put it in so I just grabbed a glass container that I had yeah oh those legs are horrible but anyway yes grab my trusty dusty quart container or you know pitcher and grab my coffee pot and pour the water around the plastic bag now spiritual girls had something with the microwave and you come back and do something I'm like yeah no not for me so what I did was I made my little bootleg pot so to speak put a plate on top and let the hair sit for a whopping 10 minutes you got it if you feel like the unit could be more if it's bigger or curlier hair you can let it sit for 15 20 heck if you're feeling froggy you can go overnight um, but here I'm just taking it out and I'm gonna rinse it in front of you and show you how it is once you get it out see how it's a little bit at the top because you didn't really do anything to that hair you didn't bleach bath it or nothing so you have to work your way through and now you notice I'm working it under the water when you have the water with curly hair any unit that's you know pretty tangled it sort of helps with the water running through it it'll help you get those tangles out quick so this way the hair will be ready to air dry on a mannequin head or a hanger or whatever your choice is and at least it's already done you don't have to wait for the unit to dry to comb it all through together it's better to get it all done the same night that you've done the ends, so to speak so here I'm just going through with my wide tooth pick and then with my fingers making sure it's nice and combed through so when I lay it down on that mannequin head it's gonna air dry perfectly don't believe in blow drying it because man it's already been through a couple of things it's like why beat a dead horse if it's already dead but no I'm just gonna um, let it air dry instead taking it ring it out and I'm gonna bring it up close check it out that's the top nothing's wrong with my lace and my bootleg scalp <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for my next video